Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with Mr. Coder, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do binary coloring from Code Forces around 948 Division 2, question B. So you're given a positive integer x, and then you have to find an array of n integers, which you can come up with your own n, that the following holds. So n has to be greater than or equal to 1 and less than or equal to 32, and each a of i is one zero or negative one for all zero or for all i from zero to n minus one and the x the x given number is equal to each to the a i times two to the power of i zero index for all i equals zero to n minus one and then last thing there is not there does not exist an index such that both the current one is not equal to zero and the following one is not equal to zero. And then it says that the key thing is that valid array always exists. So if, so if you're not, if you're not really understanding it, so for the first one it's one. So then you can just print out the array as one. And this this works because this uh it, it works because for the first one it's one, which is a of i times two to the power of zero because it's zero index, which is also one, which is equal to one. Okay, and then, so for the next one, 14. So you can print out zero, negative one, zero, zero, one. And this is because so, for example, this one, zero, anything times zero, zero, so it's zero, plus negative one times two to the i. This is index one, two to the i, it's two to the one, which is two. So this is negative two, plus zero, plus zero. And this is index, this is index four. So it'll be two to the four, which is 16. So then it will be 16 times one, which is 16. And then if you do all this operation, then you'll get 14. So that's basically the problem. And if we look at the other one, and if we notice that you can have you can have consecutive zeros, but you can't have consecutive, you can't have consecutive ones slash negative ones. So then uh, a key thing to notice is that these are all like powers of two. And one one thing to note is that you can make any number, like, like you, even if you didn't have the negative ones, you can make any number from just ones, from from just ones in like binary form, which means that you and then you can the idea would be maybe to like convert it to, like get rid of the consecutives. That's basically what I did. So even though my code isn't very neat, it still works and. What I first did was I got for I got the 30 I got the 30 for like two, the powers of two because so, that will or actually I, I turned it turns out that I didn't need it because I originally planned to do something. Well I actually did use it here, which is just like I, I just wanted to check to make sure to see if if the number that was given was a power of two, because if if the number x is a power of two, then it's easy because these are all powers of two for outputs. So then I can just print out zeros and then one on the very last one that I need to print out. Well, otherwise, then it gets a little bit harder. And then I just uh, get the number I need, get the number of elements I need, because there, there'll always be a fixed amount. So like I, I do t is less than x. So then I always do that as zero. And then I, for the last one, I do one. And this one, my idea is that I start off with one greater. So for example, like if we take this one, for example, one, two, four, eight, 16. And this one's a one, this which is 16, 16 greater than 14. But then let's say you also have the negative ones. So this one's trying to like subtract along the way. So then I get how much I need left and then I greedily add the like negative ones. And then you might be wondering like it it could be 
it could run into like consecutive negative ones or negative one and ones. So then I check that here, and then after a bit of after a bit of thinking, you you can realize that like if the if they're consecutive, then like the so if we if we think about this, uh one. So then one 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 one, so this would be. Uh, one, two, four, eight, which is 15. And is there another way to write this with like this format of zero, negative one, and one? Well, there is because if you do this 16 and then you can set all these to zero, then you can set this one to negative one. And that means that this, this is equal to this. But this one does not have any consecutives. So if, so you can just replace all of them with so so you can just replace all of the uh these ones with zeros and the first one with negative one and then the next one you'll do with one and the next one has to be a uh, one but then of course what if that doesn't work you might be wondering so then I I check to make sure if it's good if it's not good then I or if it is good then I can just print that out. But if it's not good, then I need to. Then my next idea would be to go from, go from the front. So what I mean by that would be like, for example, this nineteen. So like I could write that as uh. I could write that as sixteen, no eights, no fours, two and one. I could write it like this instead of going from behind with the thirty two. I can write it like this, which then of course I'll need to. So that's what I do. I greedily do this. But then I need to fix it by getting rid of this one here because this one means they're consecutives. So I pretty much do the same idea. So then I would get I would change these two to be so that then it would be negative one, zero, and this would be a one, which is the same thing. It's still nineteen. So yeah, and then since since it's guaranteed to be a solution, I just assumed it to be true. So I just automatically printed it out. And this is all correct. I've checked it and it gets accepted. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.